Welcome back. Work about to resume on the nearly $70 million I-25 ILEX project at Pueblo. Now, crews, they've been on hiatus through the cold winter months, and actually it's led to some drivers asking CDOT, what about the bumpy ride on the new road? Our Bill Folsom asking when we can expect a smooth ride out there. He's in our Pueblo studio tonight. Bill. Yeah, workers have been on hold waiting for warmer days. Those days have arrived, and now there's a fast track to the finish. Drivers will see moving cone zones for about the next eight weeks. Complex engineering and construction, it all looks new and mostly complete after years of work on the I-25 ILEX project in Pueblo. Only what you see and drivers experiencing this gets the question, what's up with the bumps? We have those comments saying, thinking that that was the finished product. Instead, the status is nearly finished. The final tasks are temperature sensitive, so the project timeline includes a winter break. We always knew we were going to be putting this last lift of asphalt in, in this May and June time frame. Two months with two phases divided by Memorial Day. The first phase includes three to five day, one at a time lane closures on the bridges. What we've got are bridge decks that are bare right now that have to be waterproofed so that they last a long time. After the holiday, noticeable changes for drivers will happen in just weeks. The final smooth layer of driving surface goes down. Then we're going to start paving at night and we're going to get the whole entire mainline interstate paved at night and getting that top lift on. Drivers were used to long-term lane shifts during early phases. The warning with this final work is closures and shifts could move every few days. Then by mid-June, it's all done.